Hi Virgo friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. Hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be your mid-month love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs from July 15th to the 30th, 2019. Same as last time, you know, how do you guys feel about each other? It's a great spread. I am using Beautiful Creatures. For you guys also the romance angels and also you guys have probably seen me use these before um oracle of the shape shifters but you know they go so perfectly with this deck lucy cavendish i have a lot of her decks love all right virgo Let's see what's coming up for virgo in love spirit July 15th to the 30th, 2019. So, because this is a question, like the first question is going to be, what's the energy between you? So, the card's got to pop for me. If you follow me on Facebook, you guys know that. Okay. What is the energy between Virgo and their person? Okay. Awesome. What does Virgo want from the relationship? What does Virgo want from the relationship? Okay. What does Virgo partner or new love want from the relationship? What do they want from the This is what works for me. What does Virgo need from the relationship? What does Virgo need from the relationship? Okay. What do they need from the relationship? How does Virgo see them? How does Virgo see them? Okay. That flipped up. How do they see Virgo? How do they see Virgo? Okay, so the energy that is between you guys is the Wheel of Fortune. Amazing. It's, you know, card of destiny, karma, things happening at the precise moment that they're meant to happen, things turning in your favor, Virgo. This is big changes, good changes within your relationship. And... What you want from the relationship is the Ace of Pentacles, which says abundance on the bottom. Oh, sorry. It does say changes at the bottom. Changes, transformation on a grand scale. So you have the 10 and then you got the Ace. Wow. This is what you want out of the relationship is a solid, stable, grounded, new beginning. You might want to move in with your partner, move in together. But just a beautiful, blessed, solid, new beginning. A stable relationship. Sometimes, definitely, I see this as you, know, you're, you want your life partner. They want from the relationship... King of Wands, whether you're male or female, 
you know, but so Aries Leo Sag, but this is about confidence, determination. You know, he's fiery, passionate, a go getter. You know, they, you know, they might want more expression, more creativity within the relationship. Maybe they have, maybe they are a fire sign, a fire in their chart. More passion, more, more, more passionate energy brought into the relationship. Interesting. Okay, so what you need from the relationship, the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment, says at the bottom, satisfaction. It represents wishes coming true, emotionally feeling very, very happy. You want your wishes to come true. Emotional happiness, true contentment. I mean, it's really beautiful. They want patience. They need balance, moderation. I just feel like they're looking for more balance within the relationship. Maybe they need you to be a little bit patient. When it comes to all these changes, maybe moving in together. Interesting how you see them. You see them as the Four of Cups. Which is feeling emotionally bored, discontent. Wanting more for yourself. You could actually, you know, you could see them as being a little bit hesitant, withdrawn. And Virgo, really, it might be up to you to go after this person, rekindle the relationship. And it's interesting, they see you as the hangman, the hanging one, it says on here. Perception. It's like they're waiting for you, giving you time Maybe you need to, you're, I mean, we're Virgos. I just had this conversation today with someone how, you know, Virgos overanalyze, overthink. I think they just... want you to take a step back, get a better view of the situation. Enlightenment. And I feel like they're looking at you as being the one able to give that to them. Like they see you as waiting for something. They're probably waiting for you to make a decision about something. And I think definitely you're you're going to do it, but I think you're going to take your time. But maybe not all of you, because the time is now. I mean, literally, what's between you and what you want? I mean, that's amazing. It really is truly amazing. Let's see your Romance Angels card. I'll get you one of these first. A jumper for you guys. Amazing. This is the front of the shapeshifters. Great deck, though. They go so good with this. And they're great for this type of reading. They really are. Virgo. July 15th. Of it. Okay. Fell right out. Okay. Oh my god. I just did Cancer and they got the same damn card. Like that's just amazing. Especially if you're dealing with a Cancer. They also got the Chariot. Which... 
it was in their central position and I I'm, say, I'm telling you guys this in case you're maybe you're dealing with a cancer or you have cancer in your chart and I told them the same thing because they had the chariot that the time is now for them because we're in cancer season you guys have the wheel of fortune so the time is now and they literally got the same if they didn't get this card I probably wouldn't have said that mentioned it but you've already met the romantic partner you seek guys higher forces are, are at play divine timing you know in this relationship and everything happens for a reason and I'm going to say the same thing I told cancer now is the time for things to move forward for you because the chariot is also about moving forward. Wow. That's just unbelievable. Oh my God. I didn't even realize your shapeshifters card. <laughs> A twist in the tail and the unexpected of change you did not see coming. Come on. Change is here. I can't make this shit up. Many things are unexpected. That are coming in for you. And you know Virgo. It's going to be because. You have done everything to ensure. That you and those you love. Are as safe as they can be. You know some unexpected changes are tough. You know, with, with this card, definitely. But you're absolutely, this is the universe, God, Jesus, your angels, whatever it is for you, higher forces. And temperance, too, is your, you know, your angels, your spirit guides guiding you on the path that you're meant to be on. This definitely is something that's meant to be. If those of you that are married, you're with the person you're meant to be with. Because you, there's a lot of emotional happiness and abundance here. Great reading, Virgo. Really great. Love it. Those of you that follow me Facebook Live, I will see you guys Wednesday, Monday and Wednesday. Those of you that do not, I'll see you guys back here soon with your... Bye weekly readings. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.